everyone! Welcome to my next reaction to Mayfair Witches. As you can tell, this is episode three. I unfortunately do not have the titles, but by the time you are watching this, obviously the title will be posted. I will say so far, not a whole lot has happened. We've been introduced to Rowan and, um, and the other characters. We've discovered that Deirdre, her mother, must have been involved with the devil or something, and that Rowan is kind of a result of it, but doesn't realize the source of her powers, and she has gone to find her mother. And basically, as soon as they saw each other, then Deirdre collapsed. I don't know why. I don't know if anything else is going to happen with that. I think it's kind of funny though, just a random thought that I had, because Annabeth Gish was in Midnight Mass, and you can catch my reactions to her on this channel. And by the time this goes up, you may or may not have seen The Fall of the House of Usher. I may, I'm not sure when I'm going to put that up. But she was in the first episode of that. So I think it's kind of funny that she had Midnight Mass, she had Make Her Witches, she had Fall of the House of Usher, you know, she's had all these kind of, you know, sci-fi, horror, fantasy credits to her name. But I mentioned this a little bit to my husband and he was kind of talking about it a little bit and I told him to kind of stop because I don't know the story and I don't, I really just kind of want to be surprised. And don't you hate it when you have like a hangnail? Like I'm trying to get this damn hangnail. And it's going to bother me until I finish recording, but I'm going to keep going probably and, and record. So I noticed this episode is short too. It's only 40 minutes. The first one was running about 52. I think it was about 52. The second one was about 44. And now we have 40. So it's kind of interesting how some of these episodes are shorter. And I know obviously that this aired uh, on AMC. So obviously you had to account for commercials, but I also remember at least with Interview with the Vampire, um, I had recorded those on our TiVo, so I wasn't watching on the laptop like I am with this, but I remember those episodes would go over an hour from what I would have recorded. And obviously I had commercials in there, which I cut out, but those episodes, I believe, were over an hour. Maybe not. Maybe they ran about 50 minutes. But I seem to recall, like, starting at, like, like 9.27 p.m. and running to, like, 10.45 p.m. or so. Now, maybe all together that would be about 50 minutes, and then you just throw in the commercials with it. But with this being 40 minutes, I mean, that's 20 minutes of commercials. That seems like a lot. But at the same time, I have noticed that they're adding more and more commercials and less and less content. So, especially on YouTube, I've noticed that too. Anyways, let's get started with episode three. We must be back in 1681. Is that the year 1681? Ouch. Oh. Ow. So she's gonna use magic to heal her. You can do this, you're ready. She's. You can see the blood starting to form in her mouth. Witches. Because this is Mayfair Witches, so obviously Deirdre and Rowan are the witches and they're part of some cult, I think. So now it's back to modern. The hell did she do? She's all bloody. Save her there. 
Is that Syrian? Is that his name? She doesn't care. Yeah, Syrian, I think his name is. I looked him up, but he did, it didn't really seem like he's in anything else that I know. Whoa, the necklace. That is weird, because I don't recall in the last episode that her, maybe she was. Uh, maybe she was, and I'm just not remembering it correctly. Maybe I blocked it out, I don't know. But obviously, there's something about that necklace, and necklace is the key to something. Literally, I'm figuring. Just because it's crazy doesn't mean it's not true. There's a lot of crazy shit out there that happens that's true. I love how they're witches, but they have a cross on the wall. Nice touch. Good. You should have. What are you gonna do? Put it on the only thing we try. Put it on the only thing that has ever worked. I'm the end to someone. In other words, binding him to Rowan. That's a nice apartment. Which one we should call them up? What happened with your boss? She had been in touch with my predecessor years before. We bought a playground incident. Oh. She told me that that was all they had. No. She lied. That she knew it was real. Yep. She knew the whole time. She lied. Pretty much. I know how you feel. Do you? of gloves. You're the one who can't handle your shit. You don't know anything about me. They're gonna get together. I'm sorry. She's kind of, I mean, you're right. being kind of a bitch. He's trying to help you. You want answers, you might want to listen to him. I have to get back to the hotel before any more time passes. Okay. Wire. She's lying, of course. I get you might be a little annoyed and pissed off, but don't take it out on him. He's trying to help. You know? But I think those two are going to get together. They're kind of setting it up that way. Oh, oh. So who cut her throat? Was it his... What's his name? Rayfair? Like Mayfair? Rayfair? Oh. Did he do it? Is that why he's shaking? Oh. Oh. Ow. Oh. He's behind him. At least she typed in, like, New Orleans, because so many times on these shows, they'll do, like, Deirdre Mayfair, and then it pops up, and it's like, there might be multiple Deirdre Mayfair. Who the hell are you? I'm a friend of Cyprian's. Who the hell are you? Cyprian. I'm Odette. Sip sister? Sip sister. Something. 
I unfortunately will probably not remember that name, Cyprian. Uh-oh. Well, I'm sure if she wanted to be a part of the child's life, they'd allow it, you know? This could be ours. That's his work. Yeah, no worries. I have an aunt that lives nearby. I think. Which way is First Street? Mm, that's convenient. The walk, Way to get her out. Just straight down. Not planned at all. I like that name, Calliope Coffee. I'd go there, Calliope Coffee. Sounds, sounds cool. So much for staying put. Told you she was going to leave. After. She left you this. Alright. She knows. It's an heirloom. Mm -hmm. No. She was so attached to it. That must be why she left it to you. No means no. Okay. Don't have her go first when. Yeah, she could push you down the stairs. She's gonna walk you down there. Was it the damnest go share and tell Twitch? Don't tell me. I left you in charge of her. Hmm. May God forgive you. Told you. The necklace is doing it? So it's not really protection. <laughs> she said no. People don't listen. Oh shit! Have a nice night. Well, so now we dance. Oh no, I it's not for you. It's for you. Oh, go. Now yeah. we dance. Oh wow! <laughs> Hello, Daddy. This wasn't before. Yeah. It's warded. Try your left hand. No, warded. Try your left hand, just in case. One hand doesn't work, try the other. So, what was in that elixir? There's Daddy. But isn't that your daughter? San Francisco. He did. My husband did say that there was like incest and stuff in him. But isn't that your daughter? Yeah, he did say that incest was in the book. It was not one of his favorites. So 
she was pretty much automatically drawn to him, and as we know, she's drunk this elixir. Which, of course, is kind of showing her other things. This would be perfect at Halloween. Yeah, so I was with the mother and now I'm going to be with the daughter. Why not? Which may be my daughter. Maybe? Is, is she his daughter? I don't know if she was, but maybe not. If she is, ew! If she's not, he still wouldn't ask for jump immediately jumping from Deirdre to her. This shows he didn't care about Deirdre. Good to know. Maybe that's just what I need. There you go. So apparently this could work on a corpse too, because I was wondering if he touches a corpse, will he still see everything? Uh, yep, I guess so. Maybe she has to be only dead like a few hours. If it was like a few days, maybe he wouldn't see anything. He saw it all, you know, it's the story. And he's sad. Aw. <laughs> and he thinks that he was just touched by the body. <laughs> hey, buddy. And suddenly she's in front of the house. In the world behind the world? You can have this all the time. If you open your mind, you can be transformed. She's wearing the necklace. I don't want to be transformed. I just want to be me. But you aren't that yet. Not without us. You felt alone, haven't you? <laughs> because you're disconnected from your blood. So 
Jesus. Ah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I've done that all three have been pretty hidden. It can take different forms. I really miss the world making sense. <laughs> it never made sense. I did order his takeout. Just can't see that. So what'd you find out? First, I found out that someone doesn't want me to find anything out. Mm. I do know he can't get to you in here. He lit that fire to get you out of the apartment. I saw that much. I didn't even feel it starting. I was just in it. Like, I just felt like I was swept away, and I don't know how to stop it. And if that's how this works, or how he works. Well, that's why you need to understand the full extent of your power so you can defend yourself. To those moments, slow things down so we can see how it works. What's really happening? You need to touch me again. Mm -hmm. You're not afraid I'll hurt you. No. Last time I was a stranger. Last time I'm your friend. Now I think you trust me a little. Maybe a little. <laughs> a little bit. She believes him now. He's going to get so much story right here. So, I don't know what to make of the devil. Is it Rayfair? Like Rayfair Mayfair? Still a little confused on some of the on some of the names. But like I said, I do remember my husband mentioning something something about incest. So if that's his daughter, ew. If it's not his daughter, well, he's still kind of shitty for supposedly being in love with Deidre and now going after her daughter. But I guess if you're the devil, you can do whatever you want. I feel like some things are kind of slow. That it's kind of slow to get started. Because to be honest, in this, I didn't feel like there was too much... You know, like she kind of met him, which was important, but kind of feels like that's all that we got. I mean, what was the point of Cyprian's sister? Just to bring in another character? Is she going to have a role later? Maybe she won't. Otherwise, it just seems kind of like, kind of like a pointless role, you know? And it, like I said, maybe she has... A big part later I don't know I'm not there yet but it does seem a little slow not necessarily in a bad way and maybe it's supposed to maybe it is supposed to be a little slow because you know they're setting up my guess is that look maybe the first half is slow and then after that especially as we come towards the finale then things are just gonna speed up but you know the poster 
of course, shows Rowan holding that necklace. And her blue eyes are kind of glowing. So, obviously, my guess is that at the end, maybe she's the one in charge of this coven. So I unfortunately don't have a whole lot to say because I'm still processing it. I'm gonna start episode four here in a while. Uh, so I hope you will join me for that. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Of course, we will limit to everything we've seen so far. I appreciate you joining me for Maker Witches. I hope you are enjoying these reactions. By the time this goes up, I may have a Twitch channel, so if I do and you are interested in joining the Twitch community, please click the link that will be in the description. Otherwise, if you can, please follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I would love to have your support over there. And also, if you can, support me on Patreon or buy me a coffee. I know money's tight for everyone, so I don't expect that. I am happy that you are here, that you clicked on this video to watch my reactions to Maker Witches. Uh, please check out Interview with the Vampire or anything else. Um, would greatly appreciate the support. I am happy that you are here watching these with me, and I will see you for episode four. Bye.